Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the quest, The Stolen Throne, here in Dragon's Dogma 2, so let's jump into it. So to start this quest, we're going to head over to the Star Drop Inn in Vernworth and speak with Brant. When we speak with him, we're going to select the option, Tell Me of the Masquerade. This is going to be the one that starts the Stolen Throne quest. After listening to a little bit of dialogue and accepting the quest, he is going to give you the Eventide Mask, which is really important, and what we're going to use to sneak into the Masquerade. The next item we need is the courtly outfit. If you're trying to buy it, it's going to cost you around 300,000 gold. However, we're going to show you how to get it for free. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the town of Vernworth, and we're going to make our way to the Noble Quarter on the southwestern side. You guys are going to see on your map here, there's a place called the Comptroller's Home. We're going to go inside of this house, and the entrance is going to be on the western side. Now, once you make your way over here, we're just going to be able to go right through the front door. And once we go through this front door, you're going to see some stairs straight ahead. We're going to go up the stairs and take a left. And as we get to the top of the stairs, we're going to, going to go into the first door on our right. Now, once you guys go inside, you'll see right over here beside the bed is going to be the courtly tunic. Now, once you pick that up, go right back outside the door and take a right. There's going to be another room at the end of the hall here. We can go inside of this room. And then right over here beside the bed, we're going to have another item. This is going to be the courtly breeches. You can go ahead and pick those up and you'll have the courtly outfit for several of the quests uh, here in the game. Now that we have the items that we need, we can make our way over to the palace. Now, once you get here, it is going to have to be nighttime to actually go to the masquerade. So you can sit at the bench that's right next to the entrance to the palace and doze off until it is nighttime. Keep in mind, the masquerade doesn't happen every single night in the game. So if you make it up there and there's nobody inside, just work your way back to the bench, doze off until the next night and try again. Now the masquerade is going to be in the building on the right side of the courtyard here. And once you make it up here, make sure to put on your courtly outfit as well as your eventide mask so you can go inside. Once you have on the correct attire, we're going to go ahead and walk in. If it's your first time in, you'll get an achievement. And as you walk into the circular room, it will cue a little cutscene with a guy being very shady and sneaking away in the distance. You can see him there in the opening and it'll show him walking around the circle. Now, once that cutscene ends, we're going to follow him and it's not too far, so don't worry. Once we're here, we're just going to turn around and we're going to take a left around the circle and follow the pathway. As you get to the end of this pathway, we're going to take a left and we're going to look for a secret door in the wall. You can see it right here on your right. You'll be able to go right through this wall and another double doors here that we can go through. Once you're through those doors, just go down the pathway outside. You're going to find a door with red curtains. All we need to do is walk through that door and that's going to cue a very important cutscene to the story. So we're not going to show you that whole thing. And once you finish the cutscene, we're going to head back over to the Star Drop Inn where we can speak with Brant once more. This is what we're going to do to complete the quest. Make sure that you do select the option once again to tell me about the masquerade. You will then speak with Brant for a little bit. He'll give you some dialogue and the quest will be complete. But this is how to complete the Stolen Throne in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.